Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Massalan Come Shop With Me Today, which is a shop that I don't normally shop in. And I think I've only ever been in a Massalan, actually no, that, that, scrap that. There was a Massalan when I was at uni in Aberystwyth, and I had been in that and bought things in that before. Um, but in recent years, I've only been in another one recently. But yeah, before that, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. If you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. Click the button down below and ring my bell to be notified if you love a come shop with me, a haul, a vlog, a too good to go bag. If you like all that kind of thing, definitely take a moment to, to subscribe. It's free, no cost to you. So might as well take a pan. But yeah, today's video is going to be a Matalan come shop with me. I was in Milton Keynes today. I was in Central Milton Keynes and then went over to Bletchley. Bletchley has a Matalan like on its own standalone like has its own car park and stuff like that so i knew that was there i wanted to go have a look in it i would say this matalan is blooming massive it was a really good size and the men's section was very very decent sized um so a plus for that tick tick um and i wanted to have i'm obviously filming this after the fact i've been so i wanted to just have a look to see what they got in because the last one I did was in the one in Wickham which I'll leave linked up there that was more summer one and I also was half looking for a bag for my sister for her birthday um and to be honest I didn't want to spend too much on it because she doesn't really she's not really into like fashion and stuff so she probably won't take good care of like if you bought a, Br a Bradley bag and things um so I was half on the lookout for that half on the lookout for like Varsity's kind of stuff because that is my style I love Varsity things without further ado let's get on into the come shop with me around Matalan today in the men's section for autumn winter near enough now aren't we let's have a look here we go into Matalan today and this is the men's section that we come to like with new in and stuff first got a jacket straight off the bat um but not as many as we'll go through this um come shop with me I don't think there was that many as other shops um sweatshirt wise if you're looking for like a grey sweatshirt 15 pound is the price um and they've got oh, I can't remember what they're called I used to have loads of those back in the day with the different coloured like baseball style ones nine pound for those um quite liked that um jacket that was up there actually as well um and then like another shirt site type jacket over there um if you're looking for like these are like corduroy tapered fit kind of um what they're called chino -y trousers um and obviously they've got loads of autumn stuff in so when we go over here what are we looking at over here we've got and it was really odd because i could really hear like the um changing rooms are very loudly in this section most peculiar um lots of striped bits and things over here um and polo shirts and things we've got these which i thought were very summery um this is part of that easy range this is like the easy bit this was really nice i think that could be quite nice like styled up for winter in a way um we've got polo shirts over here um we've got half zips and quarter zips and hoodies and then we're going on to like more of the um basics kind of over here with like basic hoodies the drawstrings on some of these the white ones really remind me of like jack wills ones back in the day specifically this one um back in the day with those um but look they look really really nice hoodies um for the price um and we've got like sweatshirts in here 12 pounds for just plain ones and you get matching um jogging bottoms as well um we've got they seem to be sometime or promotional deal of 20% off as well happening which is interesting I don't know how often they do that moving on to shoes and stuff I'm always on the lookout for like a thick Chelsea boot and these were quite you know not too bad actually for the black ones here they were 35 I believe this is how much they were which in grand schemes of things these days is not too bad and they've got that in the brown and then like a chocolate kind of a brown a black and a chocolate kind of brown we've got these are these called chucka boots or something apparently they're real leather um which was interesting like a desert boot but leather version of them and we've got some like formal shoes as well moving on to like lincoln which is another brand within matalan we've got gilets puffer gilets 25 pounds which is not bad at all really that is primark prices um We've got like Henley type tops, we've got jackets and things like that. Um, Lincoln reminds me 
In terms of the logo, very Fred Perry. In terms of the style, very like crew. £16 for like a quarter zip, really not bad at all. And like jumpers, £17. And like we've got this nice shirt here as well. We've got other gilets, we've got some more basic stuff. Um, we've got like bomber jackets and Harrington jackets um, and rugby shirts. You know, I love a rugby type shirt, £18 I think that was. Um, and then like shackets here for 16 right another rugby shirt here for 18 so yeah really I d out of all the ranges I feel like Lincoln is the one that I sway to more we've got like fleeces here um, and how much was the fleece £22.50 was that like really good prices on like some nice kind of stuff that looks like crew kind of crew clothing kind of vibes in a way um, so then we're moving on down here. We've got like casual wear and comfy bits. It goes all the way back over there. They have more formal stuff over there, which I did not check out. They've got some like coats and stuff over in this section. Um, what else do we have? We still have like a shirt section over here as well. Lots of different types of shirts. I really liked this one here. Um, it reminds me a bit like what they used to wear in Tesco's, to be honest. But I do quite like that look, actually. Um, we've got, like, jackets, which had, like, Borg lining in, which were really good. Um, really good. And then we've got some more loungewear kind of stuff over here as well. Um, so, yeah, lots of different stuff. 20 quid for, like, I think this is the Taylor and Wright collection, T&W. £20 for the jumper like sweatshirt there uh rugby shirt how much was this one um this was 16 pounds so not too bad so they've got loads of stuff in really um this actually really good jacket for my dad i think and this i loved as well 32 for that so really not too bad and really liked this um like barber style jacket as well not too bad in terms of the price for that as well really liked that kind of puffer style um and then we've got some more this brand over here as well which is more like casual wear us oh i can't quite read what it said us something and um, which i think is not just a matalan brand and then we've got some more like accessories over here and this bag that looks like the ranking one as well so yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by the stuff they had in today. They had quite a lot of, I am filming this quite, a, I filmed a lot today, like 10 plus videos. So I am frazzled. So they had a lot of stuff in that was really nice. I do really, like. they've got like sub brands within Matalan that I think are their own brands. So they've got like a brand called Lincoln, which kind of looks a bit, kind of a bit Fred Perry E and Ralph Lauren E vibe but obviously not with that price tag and they kind of use like a what is that a crest laurel leaf kind of logo as their logo with an l in the middle and that i would say out of all the brands was is like the one i quite like um they had quite a good selection although in the easy brand that they have um as well so i wouldn't discount the any of the other ones that they've got in there like their own label kind of things um and but and i would feel i would say Maslan is like the like the, the bhs used to be i think in terms of styling and stuff like that in terms of like um it's for like the whole family in my experience i feel like it is that um i also had a quick look in the home section because i wanted to have a look to see if they had any christmas things because i have i don't know if it's going up now but i have been doing some christmas come shop with me's around christmas shops and things in terms of like decorations and stuff but they really did not have too much in there probably get more as the time goes on but yeah i did not pick up anything in um in matter actually no that's a lie i did pick up one thing let me go look at that because it might be of interest to you i don't know it is in a tesco bag though because um and they have self-service checkouts as well which was so easy and good to do it's obviously not as um advanced as like the decathlon or the Uniqlo ones where you just plop it in and it knows what it is you have to scan it it's like the Ikea ones or like a just you know Tesco's and stuff um but as I said before previously at the beginning of the video I was looking out for a bag for my sister um and I actually picked up one in Matalan now she likes a crossbody especially being a mother um which is so weird for me to say I don't know why so I picked up this one for her which is in, I don't know, I think this colour is quite 
unique. It's like a great, it's probably not coming up true to life because it is getting dark now and um, it's raining. Um, but it's like a grey. They had two variations of this, not two different colours, just the same colour. Have this zip here, but one had a flap here and one had a zip. I thought she would appreciate the zip one more. So a little pocket at the front. I don't know what you could put in there. Um, but yeah, the base of it is quite big. Um, and it was a really good price at £13. So I thought that's not too bad. It has got a bit of a weird opening. Where is it? It goes down like that. But I suppose, let me open it. Um, I suppose, because it opens like that and then obviously flaps open. Um, I suppose that means, oh, I don't want to scratch it or anything. It is not leather. It's like PVC. You can like see things better with that and the zip's okay i mean it's nothing to write home about but she isn't gonna care if you get her a razzy bag really um and it's got two zippers there as well if you need them and obviously it's got a long shoulder strap you can actually detach the strap um and you could put on your own one if you really wanted to um i don't know why you would um and she won't if you wanted to add a chain or something but yeah it's got a like fabric strap and it's fully adjustable so yes 13 pound i thought that's not too bad and it's a decent size bag i will i've been really struggling finding one that's not like super small and one that's not too like i don't know fashiony this will be fine for her she will probably i think quite like it it's i don't it's coming up like a bit khaki on the camera but it's like a gray but yeah that should be okay for her in terms of size. I think it will fit a umbrella and stuff. It'll definitely fit it across the bottom here and things, um, which is what she'll need it for. Has it got an internal pocket? Let's have a look. I think it does. No, actually I don't think it does. Let me take out. Oh no, it does. Okay, there we go. We can have a little look inside. Just a big hole really with a zip pocket at the back but the zip is kind of with the lining which is not great like i don't know if you can see that like you try and zip it and the whole lining just comes out like that but yeah let me put the stuffing back in it i'll do that in a minute but yes that is my Matalan Come Shop, we meet with a tiny little bit of haul, which is not really for me. But um, I think that is a decent bag, which is not going to matter if it gets ruined and stuff. Which, I mean, all the other... I, I think I buy her a bag every year and she just ruins it. So, um, there's that really. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to have to try and work out how to put that in. I should not have taken it out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on Matalan down below. Have you bought anything? I know on my last Matalan Come Shop with me, someone told me in the comments to look at the, um, like, just plain t-shirts from Matalan because they said they were, the, like, the best ones they've ever had. So can you let me know how much? I can't remember if you did, but can you let me know how much they cost? Because I saw ones for, like, £7, and I'm not sure if they were the ones that were the price. Um, so let me know your thoughts down below on anything Mastan related. If you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. Free, no cost to you. For like, come shop with me, hauls, grocery hauls, two good to go bags and stuff like that. And also find my Instagrams, all that always link down below as well. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.